Hey everyone, welcome back to more Mega Man X7, where, yeah, as you can tell, I'm still on a level. The final level of this game is the second of the two fortress things. The only difference is, is that it, they kind of put it into one big massive level. So as you can tell, we ended the episode with two teleporters here. So, you can tell that there's like two different ones. This one's like there, this one's there. It's kind of unique because they kind of show that, hey, this is the shorter path because it has one, but this is the longer path. So, to the left is just kind of like a long platform and gauntlet. And to the right, they decide to let you ride in ride armor and do a gauntlet of destroying ride armor. If you want to get to the game sooner, choose that path. But if you want like a platforming challenge, go to this path instead. Honestly, I'm really curious which path speedrunners actually use more often. I don't really watch speedruns of X7, so I really don't know. But that is a kind of a curiosity that I'm really wondering about. I didn't mean to do that, but that works. <laughs> Let me just switch back over. How do I... Hmm, I want to be able to shoot that. It's like in a really, really awkward position. It's not letting me get to it. Let alone letting me target it. <laughs> Why aren't you letting me target the other one? You let me target it now. Oh, whatever. <laughs> the game just... This is not fun. Whatever. Why did you not do the thing? Whatever. Let's just continue on. Don't really care. Alright, now we got... Half right over here. And now... Some actually decent platforming. Ow. I'm gonna get rid of you and you. <laughs> and do this over here. Bam, bam. Yeah, I'm wasting all my health, but honestly, it's still much faster than just going through it, honestly. Ready? Alright, now for a 3D section. With, again, one of the worst cameras. So if you want to dodge these things, just kind of go around you can't really it's it's weird it is so weird that they won't let you like go around without falling and dying i got rid of you i'm gonna wait a moment so i don't get hit by that and fall and die switch to like an actual decent weapon there we go. look at this this is this is just weird. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care anymore. There we go. I made it. <laughs> Ready? I have a feeling speedrunners don't use this path. <laughs> because the fact that it is like two loading screens is weird. Three loading screens? <laughs> Maybe on the Legacy Collection, it's not as bad considering just how quickly it loads. I don't want you to kill me. There we go. That's... Yep. Any more of those things I gotta worry about? Yep, quite a few of them actually. Can, can, can you... Okay. <laughs> Sometimes targeting would be splendid. I don't want to get rushed by that, so let me just move that out of the way. And then do the same here. Axel, please. Thank you. That was weird. <laughs> I didn't think I was close enough for that, honestly. Sometimes the range on that is just weird. Hmm. If only. If only. I like that I can climb on it, but I still get hurt by it. <laughs> like, that's just weird design. You think you'd be able to climb them? Actually, yeah, you think you'd be able to climb them, period, because every other time you've encountered those things, you were able to- Can you die? You were able to climb them. Like, yeah, right now, I'm able to climb them. What is that, like, weird 
juxtaposition of just it not being like accurate in the same. Also, that should be it. Ready? And now we're actually at the boss battles. I can't control the camera, which is dumb. <laughs> but grab those and we'll start working our way over. It looks so weird to me because these are like gravestones and this is so super ominous. And then when you like stand in one, like you just say like a little... So it's like the arena is like a digital little entity and they're actually not like really remade. Okay. <laughs> this is a great first fight to get into. I'll just do this with X because you know. Enemy weaknesses are so stupid on some encounters, like, you really don't need them. If you just have X's just buster, which, in this case, once you get X, he's always going to be your other person. Like, it's either X or Axel. You are never going to have, like, Zero is, like, not that good in this game. I'm not going to lie. I know I should be talking about the boss right now, but, okay, I'm actually moving now. Because <laughs> that could kill me. Which any of these actually good for? Oh yeah, this one is the stupid wheel thingy, which is his weakness, by the way. But I'm just gonna shoot at him because honestly, this is still a much better thing to do. Can you, can you, can you? Okay, you're over there now. Oh, really? <laughs> at least I got full health now to survive this. So I gotta do just not get hit by his stupid little ant things or fly things. What did you yeah, obviously they're flying, so this time. <laughs> bye bye. This is honestly the worst refights in the series. Just because it's X7, mind you. I also would say worse, but they do give you full like energy every single time you leave, so that's a boon. Uh, yeah, I'll just do this one. That room, though, is still really freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Shoot. Air. <laughs> come, come to me. Thank you. I'm sorry if it's, like, very uneventful. But, yeah, these boss fights, like, just refighting them is just awful. It really is. I mean, honestly, I feel like Axe might be better off for this. That hit me? Okay. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Actually using a weakness! <laughs> Slice! <laughs> You changed your pattern. Wow, I'm gonna get hit immediately. <laughs> I'm not even touching the. That. It's funny because the shadows make it look like I'm not even touching the platform. I, I love just me doing the boss refights. It's just making me notice that hey, there's a lot of things that are off about certain parts of this game. <laughs> Let me just refill all my stuff. There we go. All right, get rid of you next. Oh boy. Honestly, this would be the best location to have zero because this boss battle is just noxious. So I will take that. <laughs> I will take that. Wrong one. Wrong one. Also, wrong one. There it is. <laughs> Finding weaknesses sometimes is just dumb. 
Especially since you gotta use the analog stick in order to get into it. I am literally using a super soaker. And it's still terrible. Screw it. <laughs> I'm switching to someone that actually can do a little bit more damage right now. I find it so weird that when he does that attack, my jump input always gets eaten up there because I tried jumping and I hit the jump button and I did not jump. <laughs> Let's see, he's gonna do it again. Let's see if my jump input gets eaten again. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the jump button. He's gotta wait for him to actually do the thing. Are you gonna do it or I'm just gonna witness Yeah, I I I was spamming the button. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die. Uh, let's switch over. One more hit. Uh, that's a decent way to end you. <laughs> Just here, burn to the ground and actually it cut off like it should naturally be. That should be the next one. Oh, yay. <laughs> no right armor in sight. Also, camera, please cooperate. There you go. That works. <laughs> Whatever. Why did they put the Giga Crash on the same button as the camera? <laughs> <laughs> because if you accidentally tap the other one, you're gonna hit the Giga Crash. <laughs> it's like, ah. And you shoot, X, please. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> so the weird thing about this fight that I actually didn't comment on before, like you could hear the English voice acting, obviously. You could you could hear the voice acting. But when he does that one attack where he like just kind of does the like the Capcom staples of just a short urchin and all that, it sounds like a different voice actor. It really does. Yeah, right there. That does not sound like the same person in the slightest. Ow, I went right into that. And then, oh, come on. <laughs> Bam. Level one. All right. Well, let's see if I took enough damage to actually warrant having to switch. <laughs> because I do need to fill up Axel's health again. Because they only give you that one pickup and it, uh, okay, I need, a, I need to fill up X again. Really no way around that. All right. This one. It's amazing how like quickly you go through these at the end of the game just because you have X and just like this buster is really, really good. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, this isn't really fun, but it's working. <laughs> Oh, camera, please. <laughs> I wonder if this would be any easier if I actually did switch. Why are you targeting his hand? <laughs> when will I ever need to target his hand for anything? Sure. Just stand still, let me kill you. Oh, yay. I'm like spamming the L and R buttons because I'm like, can I get Giga Crush again? <laughs> Just so I can end this fight already. It's amazing, like, just how easy these boss battles are compared to when you first do them. That was a good camera angle. <laughs> Yeah, I barely took any damage with X, which is good. That was what I was hoping for. Now I can switch over to Axe, so I'll get his health back. And I'm just gonna let you do that. Thank you. Now for this one, I would like even go into the fights a little bit more, but they're so not memorable. Oh, of course, I got this one, which was kind of a match because of like stuff, but this is honestly working just fine. <laughs> I'll just let this happen. Really? And now for that. <laughs> I have more range of Axel, honestly, here. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I should talk and just let the voice acting handle it. It's just kind of really funny to me here, the voice acting. This is the problem with 3D space when you don't handle it well. Because <laughs> I can just stand here. Of course, Axel kind of actually takes damage from those. <laughs> so I gotta switch over it to where I don't. Whatever. <laughs> really, really don't care. Not even over there. <laughs> Yeah, switch. You good yet? You good yet? <laughs> Still no Giga Crush. I really just wanted to end it. I missed. <laughs> that was unex. That was like very not spectacular in the slightest. Ah, oh, these boss fights are so boring. All right, let's see. Axel took more damage. So I'm gonna get that one back up. And then... Boop. The only thing I'll give the credit for the refights is the room that they're in. Uh-oh. <laughs> please, please don't vanish at any point. Uh-oh. Please, 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 please. Okay, good. Exactly, you dodge that when you can't double jump. 
Ow. <laughs> well, I guess that's better than not taking the damage. Get that out. Thank you. <laughs> and then switch over. That one. That's your move. <laughs> Get to the standard shot, please. Thank you. Now we wait. I'm gonna get closer. I really just don't want to accidentally screw up the thing and have him disappear. Like, ow. Like, I'm literally just fighting the fact that he could despawn on me <laughs> versus actually fighting the boss. I am trying. Good job. Thank you very much. Now we're done here. Now to actually give X some health. Thank you. Ah, oh, this boss. <laughs> Hello. Well, that's that one, so actually, I should switch over to Axel so I can use the Vault Tornado move. There we go. Whatever. <laughs> Just use. I hate the item. Really? Fine. Do I even have enough to beat you with it? it doesn't really look like it, honestly. It's amazing actually having to fight him now. <laughs> Bigger platform might prove a little bit useful. I say as I nearly get hit anyway. <laughs> Wait, I had to hit me. <laughs> This animation of him not doing anything, like there's no animation there. It just looks so weird. Okay, now that we're done with all eight of them, obviously you know what is ahead. If you guess Sigma, you're right. All right, we know you're in there, so come on out, Professor. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, fellas. This way I can face you in the comfort of my own home. I guess this means you've already defeated all the worthless others. There is no animation on Sigma right now. He is floating there, just like... 
This ought to be just his T-pose. He is not moving. Everyone else has an idle animation of moving. So, it was you after all. X doesn't even care. <laughs> also, these things are spawning right behind me. X is just like, eh, it's Sigma again. <laughs> you never give up, do you? Even when we break you down to scraps, you always come back. Pretty sure you hit Axel there. That's right, folks. I'll do it again and again. I will make X and Zero mine. Now come and get me. Give me a good fight, like you always do. And Axel is literally just there. Also, Axel's hair is clipping into his shoulder. <laughs> Warning. Warning. So this fight is actually, honestly, really, really easy. Gotta, gotta get the right moments when you can shoot. Which is not now. Can you do something else, please? Can you do something else, please? Thank you. It's annoying because this is his weakness. The X basically all the standard stuff is his weakness. I'm gonna duck here. I'm so glad Sigma doesn't know how to shoot down below at a 40 less uh, eh, at more than a 45 degree angle. <laughs> This is very, very uneventful. How did I get hit? <laughs> How did I get hit? <laughs> Not even a build up. This is the final form. A ginormous Sigma. So, this boss fight has a stipulation behind it. Since they introduced the tag system, whoever you deal the final blow with this fight with, you will get their ending. That is basically how this fight works. So, you kind of need to find out who you want the ending with the most and then just shoot his attacks kind of are uneventful really but but he does have one attack that could be very, very bad, where he basically just punches directly at you. It does so much damage. And if you're standing in the wrong spot, you are going to fling off and die. So you just kind of need to be in the right spot. get back down here. <laughs> here comes the punch, and that hit me. I should have been right there, but it's fine. There's a very easy way to dodge that punch. Okay. I'm closer. Thank you. Stay here. I'll wait. I'm up. There we go. Now I won't get hit by it. I still don't have that. Why don't I have that? Also, I need to remember that I have these. <laughs> Also, use this, please. There you go. So, as you can tell, his weakness is the X Buster. 
So with Axel, Sigma's weakness is explosion. Using the basically the grenade launcher and do 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 do. It does so much damage. If you're using Axel in this fight, just use it. But knowing that I pretty much did a crap ton of damage with X, I'm actually going to end this fight with Axel because like it's his game. It's better to have his ending at first anyway. I'm gonna show the other two after. I forgot to clip the launcher. <laughs> Whoops. Let's just end this really quick. Ow. <laughs> Note to self, don't jump into a stationary fist. Can you please stop doing that and get over here? Thank you. It does so much damage. It does so much damage. Oh. This way, hurry. Oh. 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 I will return in a new form, I promise you. Ah. I found you, Zero and X. <laughs> 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 Very nice, friend. Give me your power. It's time for revenge. Oh, no, with this power, I'll, I'll never, never lose! <laughs> Axel, wake up. Are you okay? <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? You gotta give me some credit! Fine. Let's get out of here. Hey! Wait for me! But why? I tried so hard! Now you listen well. Being a hunter is not all about defeating the obvious enemies. If you don't understand this, I can't allow you to become a hunter. I don't understand. I, I just did what I thought was right and fought those who did wrong. That won't bring true peace. It will only create new resentments. But I only followed your lead. I did what you did. But what I did was wrong. I just took far too long to realize that. Outbreak in the West Sector. I'll take care of it. I can handle this, X. I'll get you to make me into a hunter yet. Wait, Axel. Why don't you let him do what he wants this time? No. If I don't stop him now, he'll make the same mistakes we did. X? So that is Mega Man X7. At least Axel's ending. With X and Zero, I'll have to go back through the stage again in order to get both those endings. The problem is that final stage is so long and super tedious because there's no break. You hit that second Sigma stage, or the final stage in this case, the red alert base, whatever, and you have all that to deal with without a single break. So the moment you select the characters to enter that area, you're getting one of those endings. So if you want all three, you need to actually go in with one of them there 
which is really, really bad design. They really shouldn't have made the final section because you're escaping from the base as it's blowing up. So that section should have been a whole stage in itself. So you could pick who you want. You could have a save data like literally right there. So if you want to see all of them, you it's good to go. But with that, honestly, I I think this game is not terrible. There's a lot of iffy 3D, like early 3D issues with this game. I just it, uh, it, it has like it's still a decent game, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I do like this one more than X6. I really do. Despite my complaints with this game, I will probably play this over X6 any day. Granted, coming to the voice acting. I would definitely play it with Japanese voice acting. Now that I easily can, it works much better. I would play in English for the memes. I played in English, so it's easier for like, people to hear what's going on and the funniness of what we experienced back then. But the Japanese voice actors of this game actually tried. <laughs> like, there's games I could tell where the Japanese voice acting is really terrible such as Cross Edge. That's the one I will always go to. That voice acting was so awful. And you only had the Japanese, and it was just, ugh, no. But yes, it, like, just play, just play the Japanese. If you want a better experience overall, you have the English text. It's not fully one-to-one -one because of localization and all that, but you get the inflections of the characters a lot more, and you don't get the whiny. But Red, let's get out of here. It's like, no. That's not what he sounds like. In the Japanese version, he's like, Red! Red, no! Like that, like he's actually freaking out. And it's like, so much better. He really, like... I, uh... This, it really should have been handled by the better internal production studio, whatever one that, I believe it's production studio one or whatever. I don't remember the exact numbers of Capcom, how they handle it, but... That's pretty much X7 in a nutshell. But like I said, there's more endings and I'm going to be getting them. I'm not going to be playing through the game on camera over again, mind you. But you get to save the game. Here is where things actually kind of go a little bit different for X games. This game has new game plus. You wouldn't expect that considering it's X7, mind you. But now you can actually go back and fill up the characters, get all the stuff that you wouldn't be able to get. The thing is, though, the upgrade chips, you need to play through the game a minimum of three times in order to get everybody maxed out, Oof. which to some is probably not a good idea because it's X7, mind you. And I, I'm not going to lie. I do know this game is not that good. I still like it. I just like it more than other people don't. So I'm going to be hopping back into this game. I'm switching over to the Japanese. I'm not playing through this game two more times in English. <laughs> but I will switch over for when I actually get to the endings. <laughs> I'm going to make a ginormous editing cut. But first, you know how this goes when you get an upgrade chip. How many more do I need? So now let's beat the game with X. Last week, an outbreak of Mavericks caused a riot at the energy plant. Then, Axel showed up to quell the unrest. Mavericks disappeared from the scene without a trace. Then, three days ago, when the cannabinoids on the wharf went berserk, Axel destroyed the mechanoloid that was blocking the ship's hatch, securing an escape route for the crew. This case did cause 16 casualties, however. In addition, Axel has shown up to assist in a total of 14 incidents involving Mavericks. He's made mistakes. But in any case, Axel's efforts over the last few days have solved a lot of problems. X, do you think we could make Axel a hunter based on his good deeds? No way! Don't you get it? He must not be rewarded for such methods. Methods? X, 
Ideals are not always for the real world. Without you, somebody has to become a hunter. Why can't you train Axel to be one? Never. You could never train somebody to be a hunter like me. It is impossible. Please give it some thought. We may not be able to afford to stand by without fighting. Although I know that's what you wish for. And we all know that we haven't seen the last of the Mavericks. All right, well, now for the third ending with zero. Well, where am I? Huh? The Mavericks, eliminate, eliminate the Mavericks. X, the Mavericks. what happened, X? Just a dream. Zero? Zero, do you read? We've located the runaway Maverick Grog at point F5113. I want you to head there immediately. I hear you, Alia. I must have fallen asleep. I'm on my way. I hope that was really just a dream. So the Hunter Medals for X7, it has to be over now to defeat Sigma Second. Basically just beat the game. <laughs> and then we haven't seen the last of them complete, Mega Man X7. These are pretty much just literally both beat the game. But one of them you can't get unless like if you're in rookie hunter mode you can't get it unstoppable you just upgrade all the way with one character only it doesn't really matter smooth operator you have to listen to all the alia support calls in Mega Man x7 this also includes axles in the intro stage for some stupid reason i don't know why but there are some in that intro stage that are missable because they don't load in right away especially on the switch version you have to kind of wait in their trigger areas and it's it's dumb Deep Boop Bomb a Robot. Basically just use the copy ability and transform into the five enemy types in Mega Man X7. Pretty simple. Just kind of be on the lookout for the ones you're missing. The one that most people miss is usually the one in the radio tower because you have to kill it when it's moving. It's weird. Oh my drink. Just beat a stage when you, like, you don't switch partner, period. You just go through the entire stage and you're good to go. Take this guy. He's got all four armor parts. Simple. If you want peace, the exquisite art, and you got a license for that, all you gotta do is just defeat an enemy using all the weapons for each specific character. And it doesn't have to be a boss, just any enemy. You have to make sure that the weapon itself destroys the enemy, though. That's the biggest issue with it, because sometimes it doesn't work. But that's pretty much it for those ones. And then all that's left is who rescues the rescue. Rescue all the wounded reploids, that basically unlocks X. And that's all the little hunter medals for X7. So, that's pretty much everything that X7 has to offer for me, and in general, I'm, I'm done playing it. I am done playing it. I mean, it's a good game, but I will move on to X8 at some point. So when I do, I don't know exactly when that'll be. I'll see you all then.